Hi, Dr. Bruce here for Nurse Hub. In this video, I will cover homeostasis. Homeostasis is important to know since there are thousands of feedback systems in the body that keep it alive. Let's begin with the meaning of homeostasis. Homeostasis is the ability of a system to maintain a stable state. Think of how your body maintains certain levels of substances in your blood. For example, your blood contains a sugar called glucose. Your body maintains a certain level of glucose by monitoring the glucose and then secreting certain hormones to raise or lower it. If glucose levels get too high, your body responds by secreting a hormone called insulin to lower glucose. If glucose levels get too low, then your body responds by secreting a hormone called glucagon to raise glucose. Homeostasis relies on what are called feedback mechanisms. Your body has thousands of feedback systems in place that work to regulate many substances. There are two types of feedback. Negative feedback is when the response is opposite to the stimulus. Positive feedback is where the response is the same as the stimulus. It's helpful to think of feedback in this stimulus response way. A great example of feedback is a thermostat. Let's say we set the thermostat at 70 degrees. It's summer and hot outside and the room temperature begins to rise. Once it gets above 70 degrees, the thermostat senses it and turns on the air conditioner. The result is the room cools down to below 70 degrees. Let's review the stimulus part. The stimulus is the room getting warmer. The response is turn on air conditioner to cool the room down. Can you see that the stimulus and response are opposite? This is an example of negative feedback. Now, let's say we still have our thermostat set at 70 degrees, but this time it's winter, and we open the window. The temperature in the room begins to lower until it gets lower than 70 degrees. The system now responds by turning on the furnace. The room gets warmer until the temperature gets above 70 degrees. Again, let's review the stimulus response part. The stimulus is the room getting colder. The response is to turn on the furnace to warm the room up. Can you see that the stimulus and response are still opposite? So this is still an example of negative feedback. Now let's say that the thermostat is wired the wrong way. Now when the temperature in the room rises above 70 degrees, instead of turning on the air conditioner, the furnace turns on and raises the room temperature. Can you see that the stimulus and response are now the same? The stimulus is the room getting warmer, and the response is to turn on the furnace to make the room even warmer. Since the stimulus and response are the same, we call this positive feedback. This concludes this video on homeostasis. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.